this 50-year-old man is being seen prior to globus pallidus deep brain stimulation. He has a 10-year history of tardive dystonia. The uh, prominent features are hyperextension of the head and neck, blepharospasm, and lower facial grimacing. He's also got some involuntary movements of his upper extremities, but his trunk and lower extremities are relatively quiet. There's not much change in his movements with his arms extended and doing rotatory movements at the wrists. The retrocollis movements are very jerky. There's retraction of his jaw and again the marked uh, blepharospasm and facial grimacing. Here he is about four weeks after globus pallidus deep brain stimulation sitting very quietly on the exam table without spontaneous retrocollis or other movements. With his arms extended, he does develop a little backward deviation of his head and neck, activated by motions of his hands. But again, with his hands down, he's very quiet. He's being asked to rotate his head from one side to the other here, and this does not induce any retrocolic head jerks. Flexion and extension movements of his head and neck are normal. Once again, when he raises his arms, rotates the hands, he tends to develop backward deviation of his upper trunk and his head and neck. From the side, he's perfectly straight. The jerky movements do not occur. When he raises his arms, once again, there's a little bit of retrocollis.